Hi there. This is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. And thank you for watching this clip on differential equation. I'm going to be using separation of variables. x times dy dx equal the radical of y. So what we need to do is gather the dy with a variable, which is 1 over radical y on one side. And then on the, on the other side, we'll have 1 over x dx. Now this actually step is seemingly easy, but it's actually a pretty important step because without the step you can't really integrate. Let's uh, work through it a little bit. So let's see y dy over here and then dx, if you think of that way, technically this should be together, is equal to y to the half over 1. So what I did over here is going to multiply dx on both sides. So I have x times dy is equal to y to the half dx. Now I need to get x and dx together, so I'm going to divide it by x. Then I have dy is equal to y to the half dx divided by x. I'm happy with this chunk now. Okay. Now since y has to go with dy, I'm going to divide it. Then I have dy over y to the half is equal to dx over half. Uh, not half, it's just dx over x. That's what I had over here. Okay, this step is actually a pretty important step over here. And then from here, what we're going to do is integrate on both sides. This is, should be pretty easy. Uh, integration on the left side is really y to the minus half dy. Use integration, I have half over here, and then half on the bottom is equal to natural log x plus a constant. Now let's multiply half on both sides. So I have y to the half is equal to natural log of x divided by 2 plus c over 2. Using condition or initial condition, we're given that y of 1 is equal to 4. So let's have 4 to the radical. It's equal to natural log of 1 over 2 plus c over 2. Luckily, this part goes to 0. And we are solving for C, which is 4. Okay, so hopefully that's pretty easy. This chunk is just initial condition here. Let's write it here. Initial condition. All right, now let's plug everything back. We have y to the half is equal to a natural log of x divided by 2 plus 4 over 2. All right, a couple more steps, then we're there natural log of x divided by 2 plus 2. This whole thing is going to be squared so I can get a single variable x, y to the x is equal to, let's see, do we want to open this one up? I might as well. Natural log squared over 4 plus twice of those things multiplied, which is 2 natural log of x plus 4. Okay, so here's our equation over here. Okay. If you go on to the Wolfgram and check the work, it's, um, let's see, can we focus here? There we go. And then you have exactly the same form, natural log and the natural log squared and a plus a constant squared. Okay, and if you plug in the initial condition, you will get the same thing. And this one is from the, our friendly Wolfgram, alpha. Oh, I apologize for this. <laughs> in and out focus. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything else I want to mention? That's pretty much it. Uh, before we're done, let's have a little math moment. Math would be so easy if there's only one problem. Huh. <laughs> All right. Back to math. Uh, let's see. Any reviews? Just get the variables together and the integrate on both sides. Use the initial condition. And this one is a relatively straightforward one. All right, once again from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.